Hello everyone, welcome to a, another video. Today I'll walk you through Windows 11 Home. So this is a Microsoft Laptop Go, which has been upgraded from Windows 10 Home to Windows 11 Home. Yep, so upon upgrading, and after you log on for the first time, you'll see that they taskbar icons are located in the center as you can see here uh, this can be moved you know uh, to the standard left hand side if you prefer to have it on the left so at first glance this interface looks much cleaner than Windows 10. So to change the or the position of the taskbar, such as the uh, the taskbar icon, such as the start button, the search, and the other default apps like the File Explorer icon, you right click on the taskbar and you click on Taskbar Settings. And then you expand taskbar behaviors and then you can click on the drop down under taskbar alignment and you can select center or left so currently it's on the center setting i'll leave that as it is okay so let's Go back to the other things on Windows 11. So everything else on the taskbar is pretty much the same as Windows 10. So you get your hidden icons here. For example, if you have Bluetooth on your computer, and then that's the Wi-Fi. So you click on that. the internet volume and the battery icons are bunched up together or the settings are bunched up together so if you click on that it will display the internet stuff here and your bluetooth setting airplane mode uh, battery settings accessibility mode and your brightness settings volume setting and this displays the battery percentage here on the bottom left so i'm gonna click on this icon and see what options what the menu looks like yep it just displays available networks around your vicinity so it's a bit cleaner than windows 10 but i would say it's an extra step to view available networks so you need to click on that icon here with a bunch of icons here and then click on this arrowhead here to see the available networks which is a bit of an extra step i would say But still, I think it looks much cleaner. So they've bunched up all those options or settings together, which is good. And next, you get your time setting and the notification area. They've bunched up that together as well. And then the widget has moved across to the left because we have set the taskbar to the center setting so the widget is on the left so let's see if we change the alignment of the taskbar to left 
or it just integrates. So we change the task alignment to left, the widget just um, integrates itself in there. So if you want to turn off the weather widget, all you need to do is click on the widgets toggle and turn to the off position like that and the weather widget disappears. Okay, so this is the taskbar icons aligned to the left. So that's the new start button. That's what it looks like. So on Windows 10, it had a white color icon and I'll show you it now. So that's the Windows 10 icon. And then this is the Windows 11 start button here. So let's click on the start button and immediately it displays all the pinned apps here. And then just below it will show recommended stuff. It will be files or apps that you have opened or installed recently. So they will appear in the recommended section. And if you click more, it will display the rest of the history. And then on the pin section, um, you can have many apps as you want. So I'm going to click on the second dot here. And then you can also click on all apps to display all the apps installed on this laptop. So if you click on all apps, that's how the start menu apps are displayed. In alphabetical order you can also search for apps so if you tap word word appears very easy you get all the search function here as well and the next thing is the desktop function so you can create extra desktops to store you know for different workspaces so that's here that's that icon there on Windows 10 it was a bit different it had a different icon let me show you that icon here now so that's what it looks like on Windows 10 and this is the icon on Windows 11 to create extra desktop board spaces. All right, let's look at the settings area in Windows 11. So that's the settings icon there. Okay. So even this is a bit different. So you get all your options here, setting op settings options. So this is the system options here. I'm going to click on network and internet. Let's see what it looks like. If I click on Wi-Fi. Yeah, I would say it's a bit easier to find things in the settings area now you can also search for settings I'm gonna also show you what the Windows update page looks like there you go with the pausing function update history advanced options and the Windows insider program check the version that this one is running so the type in bar. So it's running the 21H2 version. So guys, 
that's just a brief overview of Windows 11 Home. I will be doing a series of Windows 11 videos later to show you how to turn off and search for fu certain functions. And um, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, just put them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.